everyone, today's video is going to be a Tanner review. I'm going to be reviewing the Saint Tropez New Er Watermelon Lotion Tanner. So if you guys want to see how I feel about this product and how I got on with it, just keep on watching and let's get started. So this is the tube. It's super cute. I really like the packaging on it. The regular packaging is just white, so just little watermelon colors are really cute. It is 6.7 fluid ounces, which is 200 ml, and it's $25, which I feel like is pretty affordable in my books, especially compared to a bunch of other tanners, right? If you see me looking down, I will be looking at my computer, at my notes. Um, I did write a full blog post on this, so I will link that down in the description if you guys want to read it or if you're more of a visual learner or something. So even though this is a lotion tanner, skin prep is still very important. Um, you don't just want to be like, oh, it's just like hydrating my skin. So if I have dry patches or whatever, this will take care of it. That's fine. Like, no, you definitely don't want to do that. So you want to start with a body scrub in the shower, just like you would for a foam tanner or any other kind of tanner and shave anywhere that you want to shave. And I still like to go in with my body cream that I would normally use. Um, Non-scented is typically more preferred or something that just doesn't have that much like alcohol in it because it will eat away the tan. So something preferred, non-scented, I rub it on my elbows, my knees, what else? My ankles, um, sometimes my chest up here because this, I feel like we all know this can kind of just like collect stuff a lot. I feel like for me at least, this is where it really starts to deteriorate first my tans. So I put lotion um, there just to make it a little more even. And then of course my wrists like crazy. I literally do my wrists like crazy. Um, and then sometimes a little bit over your knuckles, but honestly I never have any knuckle issues, so I don't really do that as much. But you probably should, especially if you're not as familiar with self-tanning, because you could run into some staining issues down the line. So I would say prep lotion your skin almost everywhere that you think you should, just to be safe. Just like with a foam tanner, I would wait probably half an hour if you are applying this straight after a shower. I'd wait like 30 minutes just to make sure your pores on your legs are closed because nobody likes those little black brown dots all sticking in your legs. It looks weird and you literally just shaved and tanned because you're trying to look good or cute in something and then you're just like a spotted leopard. So let's avoid that and wait like 30 minutes um, before you apply your tanner. So how I apply this, I tried two techniques. I'm not really sure how many techniques honestly there are that you can use with a lotion tanner or any other tanner really, but what I did was I tried it with a mitt and without a mitt, just my hands. So with the mitt, the mitt I used was a velvet mitt and it was a disaster almost. <laughs> it just didn't work. It takes so much tanner, so much product, you like you are basically going to be using an entire tube trying to tan your whole body for just one session because with the velvet it really absorbs it and then just rubs around and gets sticky and it's weird. It does not work at all. So if you have a velvet mitt, um, I would say don't use it. If you have one of the foam mitts, um, it actually might work because the foam mitt kind of blends stuff on top of the skin versus it actually like soaking it up like the velvet ones do. In my personal opinion, I would probably just exonate all mitts because it really does use a lot more product. So I tried it with my hand, of course, and that's my preferred method. What I will say about that is you definitely want to wash your hands afterwards. I go through the sides of my hands, my wrist, and all between all of my fingers, scrubbing real good. I mostly avoid not really avoid, but I just, I don't even use soap. I don't even bother. It's kind of like a waste to wash my hands with soap afterwards. I go in with a body scrub, like a coarse sugar body scrub. I use that on my hands, scrubbing them like crazy, scrubbing the palms, scrubbing the sides, in between every single finger, my wrist line around here. I'm not even kidding when I say scrub. Scrub your hands, scrub your hands, and do it like three or four times. That's what I do. I literally will sit there and will scrub my hands pat them dry, and then go in and do it again a couple more times. Because if you don't, as I have learned, um, you will wake up with orangutan palms in the morning and nobody wants some orange hands in the morning. I mean, I don't, I know you don't, so let's just scrub our hands with a body scrub because, yeah, it lasts for like a week, that orange stained hand, and it's just kind of embarrassing. So 
make sure you, you really are rinsing your hands thoroughly afterwards. This does not have a color guide, so it's just a white kind of lotion. Um, and it blends out clear on your skin. With that said, for me, I don't find that to be an issue. I have seen a lot of other people um, comment on certain things or reviews or whatever that they really hate products without a color guide. Again, I don't think it's an issue because as long as you are really using a circular motion or whatever to blend everything out, you're probably not going to miss an area. I feel like you can just tell because if your skin is like dry and you're putting lotion on, it's going to look shiny versus the area that you didn't put it on, it's going to have more of like a matte look. So that's kind of a like little tip if you're like, did I get it all? Did I not get every spot? It's going to look shiny when you put it on. So use like a shine as kind of your color guide. Um, but again, I've never had any issues with that. It blends out really well. This lotion tanner compared to a foam tanner. Foam tanners, you apply once, you leave it on for like six, eight hours, sleep overnight in it, rinse it off, whatever, and you can see like that top color layer rinsing off in the shower. This one obviously is not going to have a color rinsing in the shower because there is no color guide. So whatever develops on your skin stays on your skin. That is something that I do like um, because when you're wearing a or when you're applying a foam tanner and you see that initial color, you're like, this is great, I'm tan already. And then it starts developing and you're like, I'm so much darker, I love it, love it. And then when you rinse off that top layer, it's not as dark as it was before. And I, when I am going in with a tanner, I'm going in with a reason because I want to be very tan. So when I'm like very tan and then rinse that color off and then I'm like half tan, I'm just like, why? It's kind of like a waste to me. So I do like that whatever color you see as this is developing is the exact color that you're going to get. I feel like another pro to a lotion tanner over, not that this is like a pro and con kind of video, it's just reviewing this, but a positive for this lotion is that you can reapply it throughout the week, which obviously, yes, it's a gradual um, tanning lotion, tanning lotion, tanning lotion, so that's kind of implied. But with a foam tanner, you apply it, you rinse it off, that's it. You're good for like the week, however long it lasts, before you have to scrub your skin to death to get it off and then reapply. Because if you are reapplying foam tanner on foam tanner, it's going to get patchy and disgusting, as we all know. With this one, that is not the case, at least for me. What I have found is whether I've rinsed it off or not, I can reapply. And you're like, why would you reapply without rinsing off? Sometimes you just want to be extra tan the next day, okay? So... You can apply it on top of itself. I wouldn't recommend that because meh, but you can if you want to, if you do want to look a little bit deeper for like a special occasion or something. But once you rinse it off, you can reapply every single day throughout the week and it shows up really nice. It still develops a little bit more. I do feel there's like a stopping point with this that once you apply it for a few days, it gets to a certain like dark level and it's not gonna really get darker than that, but you can still keep applying and it does not get patchy. So the scent of this is actually really good. When I first got this, I was like, oh, it's gonna be a little watermelony, but it's still gonna be hit with a heavy like tanner scent. So not true. This smells so delicious. I literally love it. It's just, it's such a fresh like watermelon scent. It doesn't exactly smell like a real watermelon, but it also doesn't smell like super sugary, fake, artificial um like candy watermelon it smells so good because i hate the smell of like watermelon candy but this is just the best um it lasts the entire time i would say that you're wearing it i generally either sleep with it or i put it on like in the morning and then i rinse it off at night and it does smell very fresh and fruity throughout the entire time except for like that last little hour ish then it kind of starts to bring up a little bit of a tanner scent but it's so light and minimal compared to the original of this because that one is just straight tan all day long eight hours ten hours just like it starts to create this like banging headache in your head which is why i'm very um careful and picky with tanners that i use because i'm not trying to have a headache just to have a tan so I really do appreciate the fresh fruity scent of this and it actually smells fresh and fruity and it lasts the drying and staining of this um 
drying wise when you first apply it's about like five minutes and you're dry get to go put your clothes on whatever I still wouldn't wear white with it um, because it is like a lotion tanner so it kind of creates that like film so if you're wearing something white it could potentially like rub somewhere on you and kind of rub off a little bit but as far as bed sheets if you have white bed sheets you put this on and you sleep in your sheets as you would overnight it gets like just wrecked it definitely transfers even though it's clear um, even though there nothing really rinses off in the shower like I said for some reason once that tan develops it does rub off on your sheets so that's something to just kind of always be aware of with self tanners overall I do love this I think $25 is a great price point I think it lasts me a good amount of time I I want to say I have like this much probably left in it because I have been using it for a while I do really like to fully test things out before I review it so it feels like it's about here um, and I've used it like full maybe like 12 times or so which is really really good um, certain aerosol tanners or foam tanners I feel like foam tanners last okay but aerosol goes through like you go through that like super fast like three or four applications you're done so this does last I feel a really decent amount of time um, obviously your body size matters so that's something to take into account I'm not a big person so it is gonna last me probably longer than someone else um, but I feel like overall you don't have to like keep layering and layering you can just do like one layer you're good to go and maybe one more application throughout the week so like twice a week and you can have a really good solid tan for a week or so it makes my skin so smooth this like if they could create this into just a body lotion I would buy it because my skin gets so buttery smooth soft silky it looks so hydrated it's crazy no matter any other body lotion I've ever used this is literally the best and it's not even like a lotion lotion you know so I can't just be applying this just because I want to apply it in one area or this area because then it would look patchy but if they could create this like I would totally buy it I love it like I said just it's the smoothest skin I've ever felt so if you haven't used this just be expecting some smooth skin if you do use it because it makes your skin really hydrated and moisturized I feel like that's all I have to say about this I really like this product I think it's great if you have any questions that I didn't cover please leave them in the comments below I know I got a few questions on another my last tanner because I didn't say how long it lasted which that Saint Tropez mist tanner lasts about like four times five times and then it's like done but like I said this is about like 12 times that I've used it now and it's still going strong I still have like two probably applications in this it's really really good if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up I will be linking this down in, in the description for you guys it is not an affiliate link um, as well as my blog and Instagram if you guys want to follow me on there subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already I would greatly appreciate it as always thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye